When the internal home page loads, you will then go to the Welcome drop down menu and select Site Admin. Once this page loads, you're going to go to the Content Management tab. Then you're going to select Manage Media from the sub tabs that have now appeared. Finally, you're going to click on the link Media Library List. As you can see, there are already some media libraries for this example. But today, we're going to create a new media library. To do so, you'll go to the Add New Library button and click. You'll now be presented with several different fields and options that you need to fill out. First of all, and most importantly, you need a library name. It's then recommended that you give a description for the library so that when people browse it, they understand what this library is supposed to accomplish. You can now decide what category your library is going to fall under by clicking on the drop down menu right across from category. But for today, we're just going to choose general content. You can also change who can view this library. Currently, it is set to everyone. But if you use the drop down menu, you can select it for only registered users. You can also have a start date and an end date for your media library to show up on your website. To do this, you will click on the calendar and select a start date and then once again for the end date. At any time, if you would like to take your library offline without having to do the start and end date, all you'll have to do is uncheck the Mark Active checkbox. If you want more than just your user to have access or have ownership in this media library, you will add their usernames to this line. For an example, we're just going to put username1 and then add a semicolon at the end. Another option that you're able to configure is if you want to allow users to be able to upload straight into this library. Currently, by default, it says no, but you can choose to have it where they can upload, but you have to approve the picture first, or they can upload and it immediately appears in the library. For this example, we're just going to go no uploads allowed. You'll also notice that you can resize the images once they're in there when you're trying to view the library. By default, it's a what we consider web medium, 640 pixels by 480. But as you can see, there are different sizes and there's also an option to not resize images automatically. You could put in a unique name for your media URL. This is how people can potentially view your media library. Now that we have finished with this page, we're going to click on Save Library. And you'll now see that the testing library is there. To edit what's inside the library, because currently there are no files in there, you'll go to the Pencil or Edit button. You'll once again see the page that we just filled out. And this time, we're going to click on Add View Media. To add pictures to this media library, what you'll do is you'll click on the Select button, which is found in Select One or Multiple Files to Upload window. Once you click on Select, you'll notice that an Explorer window has now popped up. And now you'll be able to choose what images you would like in this library. If you want to try to add several images at the same time in the same folder from your computer, what you can do is you can hold down the control key and then click on every single image you'd like to add. This speeds up the process. Once you have selected all the images or the image that you'd like to add, click on open. You'll now notice that all of the images that were selected are now listed here but they are not listed above. That is because we haven't actually chosen to save those pictures to the media library yet. Before we do that, let's have a hypothetical of if you accidentally chose a picture you did not want to add. To remove that picture, what you would do is you would click on Remove next to the picture's name. And as you can see, it immediately removes it. Now, to add the pictures to the media library, what you'll do is click on Save Files to Library. And now you'll see all the pictures are now loaded inside the library. Once you're done, you can simply click on Exit, and all of those files will be there. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit our support site at support.comwebinc.net.